you know, always on Sundays, always on, unless we were sick, we was always at my grandma's on Sundays over here in Mainville, Ohio, Warren County. And after church, uh, you know, we'd come home and grandma and mom would fix lunch. And when I got to that curious age, I'd say I was around eight, nine, ten years old, probably a little, probably around eight or nine. Uh, I, uh, I remember my first time venturing out. Mom, I'm going to walk up to the fire department. She said, okay. This is right around uh, 1971, 1972, 1973. I'm trying. I can't remember, uh, you know, exactly how old I was. I was right around that age. That's right. Let's say right around 1972. 1972 1972 1973 I remember uh, my first time venturing walking out walking through the town no fear there was no fear of being kidnapped no lord no it felt perfectly safe I, I know every crack in the sidewalks in Mainville, walking up to the fire department. If I had a couple of dollars on me, the Mainville market, by the way, today, all these years later, if you walk into the Mainville market, corner market, I was walking in that cor corner market 1972, as early, buying me a pop and a candy bar. But as far as, no, fear, God, that fear never crossed my mind, our minds. No, fear of being kidnapped. No. Back in, ni back in the early 70s, it felt perfectly safe for me by myself at 9, 10 years old to walk the sidewalks. We didn't, there was no fear of kidnapping. If a car pulled up, there's one direction. Or maybe he was walking, maybe he happened to be in their driveway, walking the sidewalk, and they just waiting for you to get out of the way so they could pull into their house. We had no fear. You know, 40, what, 48 years later, today, it's all it is. Pedophile, 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 all this garbage. Garbage. That never even crossed our mind. My mind, our mind, back in my days. No. Lord, there are many a time from all through the 70s, I'd walk up to the fire department. No fear of being kidnapped. No, perfectly safe. That's why I feel sorry for you kids today. I'm not saying give up. No, but I feel sorry for you because you don't know what simple is. You don't know what fearless is. I feel sorry for you. Back in my days, oh God, it was just nothing to it. I've walked those sidewalks many a time, many a time. Never feared, no. And just the way it was in my days, folks. Just the way it was. Early, I, I mean, you know, I can remember my first time taking off. And many, many more. Mom or Grandma. I'm going to the fire department. Okay, be back in about an hour. We got tuna sandwiches. They didn't. There was no fear in their voices. There was no fear to them because they knew I'd be okay. There was no be careful, like there is today. They knew I was going to be all right. You know, it just the world was a whole lot better back in my days, folks. Walk to the fire department, or if I had a couple of dollars on me, walk over to the corner market. You know, if I was a millionaire, I would buy Mainville Corner Market store. Why? I would buy, if it was for sale, I would buy it. Why? Even back when I was a kid, in 1972-73, it was a busy store. 48 years later, it still is. That's why I'd buy it. That store's been busy for 50 years. 5-0. I can remember going in there when I was a kid and waiting in line. It's a money maker. 
probably never go for sale because it's a money maker. But if I was a millionaire and it would come up for sale, I would buy it. Why? Because I know from experience how busy that store has been over 50 years. I remember when I was a little boy in 72, 73, how busy it was back then in my days. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. But uh, back in my days, there was no fear. No, you felt perfectly safe. Back in my days, you felt perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. 